Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be telling you guys about how I passed my New York City road test. I'm gonna insert pictures of my actual road test, like the printout that they give you of how many points you got and everything like that. So I'm gonna insert that right now. As you can see up there, um, how, or split screen, however I did it, you're gonna see like what I did wrong, how I passed, etc., etc. So I'm gonna start from the beginning. So if you guys watched my first video, um, how to pass your permit test, so it all started from there. So once I passed my permit test, um, I took about 10 months in order to start driving school just because the price and is so expensive just to, you know, start it. I had to find time. Once I did, I found a driving school that I did much research on because you need to do that to find the best instructors, make sure they're not scamming or taking any of your money that they're not supposed to be doing. Yeah. I found my driving school. I decided that I only needed 10 lessons. Uh, I could have got 12 or 15, but I could afford 10 lessons basically. So... I got that, it was $540, so you pay as you go. It's not like a, I have to give them the whole 540. After I signed up for the school, I researched through Google to find the best instructors. So the first instructor that they gave me was a woman. When we drove, I literally, only time I ever drove was maybe up the block or maybe in a parking lot in other people's cars throughout the years. It wasn't no full on in the street lesson. So when you go for the driving school, they literally put you in the driver's seat the same day. It's not like they're in the driver's seat telling you, okay, this is what's next. No, they're literally just preparing you for the test. The things that you're gonna learn in a driving school is just literally preparing you for your test. It's not like no slow driving Miss Daisy, like, okay, this is how you turn the wheel. Yeah, they'll tell you that, but it's a quick little one, two, three. All of my lessons was like 45 minutes long and that was it. Once I was finished, um, I'll see her the next week or two weeks later. Another thing about the driving school is that it books up really fast depending on the instructor that you're looking for. So yeah, I'm getting off track. But anyway, okay. I had the woman at first. She was talking up a storm. It was Corona at the time. So we had to wear our mask. If we didn't have our mask and our permit. We couldn't get in the car. Um, they pick you up from your house. So that's good. And they drop you back off. So the lesson is 45 minutes, like I said. So during that first lesson, I was a little bit shaky. She made me a bit nervous. So, and she was on her phone. She wasn't really paying attention, talking about her life, et cetera, et cetera. And I just was like, nah, I can't, I can't stay with her. So after that lesson, I got another guy. He was a little bit better, but he was very like, he would grab the wheel and stuff like that to make sure you turn right. So I didn't really like that. So I finally found my third instructor and he was really good very like uncle like like uh it was very like family-ish with him basically so his approach was very like straightforward give you like a lot of confidence in yourself and different things like that so overall i stayed with him throughout all of the lessons the day of the driving test um i had to meet them at the school so i had to pay an extra seventy dollars to use their car for the driving test or whatever so if you can use somebody else's car go ahead but i'm used to driving in that car so it was more so easy for me to pass with the car so once we got there they told me that it was probably going to be a long line because all the other driving schools were going to be there as well so there was one other girl in the car with me on the way to the test so he was just telling us kind of what to expect as we waited so once we got there with a, a line of cars waiting um besides us some people just had their parents with them they didn't have the driving instructors with them because i guess maybe their parents taught them or whatever and it was using their parents car. there was about five cars in front of us but there were five driving um instructor or whatever proctor test proctors there so they was on a lunch break we had to wait about maybe 30 minutes nothing too crazy inside the car it was very cold that day so thank god we was inside the car so the first girl that was in the car i mean she went first so that was good for me uh she came back i switched places with her she didn't even say if she passed or not i guess she couldn't really talk to me so i switched i got in the car first of all with all the COVID regulations um they ask you like have you been out of state um anytime have you been in contact with people with COVID? do you have symptoms so everything was no 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 took your temperature your temperature was good so he was ready to go they scanned your id so they could have that for your print i got into the car i was kind of nervous my driving instructor did tell me that the guy that I did get, that he was kind of chill. He did seem chill and cool. Um, the main thing to remember is you don't have to be perfect on a test because I was so nervous about being perfect and, you know, doing everything right. Like literally when I got in that car, I forgot everything. Like my mind went literally blank. I was like, I do this all the time. I just had a lesson. My last one was 
two days ago i had a lesson on friday monday and then my test was on wednesday so i was like oh yeah i'm prepared i'm prepared but i was nervous i wasn't like extremely like nervous as i thought i would be but i was nervous you know here and there as you would be so i got in the car he was like this is the new york city or state driving exam I'm gonna test you on your skills something like that so i took off he was like um make a right so i did that i made a right he was like right here right here make a right so like sometimes they make you nervous during the test because they'll be all like seem like they rushing you because they got to get through everybody before a certain time of the day. So I feel like they're very lax in like what they're testing you on. So you're going to pass unless you really like do something off a bit, hit somebody. I know you're not going to do that because if you're taking your test, you have to be pretty much ready. Don't take two lessons or five lessons. It depends on the person, but don't take two lessons and think I'm ready for the test because you're not. You're not ready for the test. Trust me. I took 10 lessons and I still feel like I could have took more before the test, but they told me that I was ready. So, yeah. So after I turned right, um, I made a left. That was a pretty hard left to make. He told me um, my left was a little bit wide and usually my left is a little bit short. So you see, I was nervous. So, and I also heard that if you like go over the double lines, you instantly fail. But I almost went over the double lines and he didn't really say like you fail. So after I did that, I was driving, driving, driving. He said, do a K turn. So what threw me off about the K turn is I usually do it after I park when I'm doing my lessons. So I'm coming out of the parking space. He told me to pull over to the side of the corner and then do the K turn. So my K turn was all crazy, but I guess just as long as you know how to turn the wheel and then turn it back, look, do all that stuff. As long as you're doing the safety checks and everything like that, I guess that's what they really judge you on because I didn't get judged on my K turn being sloppy. I completed the turn and that was pretty much it. So after that, I thought parking was gonna be first, but the K turn was first out of the blue. Like you gotta be ready. Like he really just springs it on you like that. It's no waiting. It's just like automatic. The test is literally like seven minutes. That's it, like six, seven minutes. So after that, he was like, park right here. So I came up to the car, mirror to mirror, did all that stuff. I was parking in, put the mirror down. He was just literally kept fixing his rear view mirror. I was like, are you even paying attention to my parking or anything like that? Guess not. But anyway, I was parking, I was backing up, backing up, and I could have swore I hit the curb. Cause as you know, they said if you hit the curb, automatic failure so i was like i failed uh, and instantly my heart dropped i was like i failed i failed i definitely failed i know and so he was like he was like yeah he's like that's enough i didn't have to pull the car like forward like after i parked he's like that's good um pull out of the parking space turn here and then i turned and then we went back turn and the next thing i know was at the testing site again he said pull up i pulled up i put the hazard lights on I put the car in park, I turned off. And one thing to remember is you do have to turn the car on because the car is off before you start. So make sure your teacher or whatever shows you that if you don't know how to do that. So I did have to turn the car on before I started the test. So I put the hazards on, um, I put the car in park. I think I turned it off. And yeah, he was telling me, he was getting everything together because you know if you get your five hour back, that means that you um, failed. You have five hour certificate that you have to take before the test. So he was scrambling around, getting papers together, printing out my stuff. Then he gave me my ID back and he gave me my little strip. And I was like, I passed? He's like, yeah. I was like, I passed? He's like, yeah. So I was like, I was so relieved. I was like, I passed? I thought I hit the curb back there unless you didn't notice. But okay, if I pass, if you say I pass, I pass. Cool. <laughs> so um, yeah, he's like, have a good day. Something, something. Got out the car. So I got out the car, switched places, got in the back. The girl got in the front. My driver instructor came in. He's like, did you pass? I was like, yeah. He's like, oh, congratulations. We both passed. So we both got the same kind of little points off. I got, I'll put the picture there. I got 10 points off for, I think it's too close to the curb or too wide or too out, something like that. Not close enough to the curb and something else I got. You'll see it on the paper, the printout. I don't have it right now in front of me. But yeah, that's the points that I got off and we both got similar stuff. She was too short, I was too wide and I was too close or and she was too far, something like that. So we both had the same teacher. So we both had like the same little hiccups in there so i was so happy that was over yeah, that's pretty much my story uh try to give you guys any tips um try not to be nervous but you will be don't really like worry about the instructor my driving instructor was like 
don't worry about him just imagine it's me in the car you know helping you or teaching you or whatever like you know testing you so I tried to do that but I was like my mind was blank I literally forgot the instructor was there like the test person was there because I just was like trying to do everything right I was like oh my god I was panicking I don't know what happened but don't be like me don't panic I have anxiety so that's probably another reason why I was panicking like that in my mind but I didn't really show up poker face so yeah he didn't really know so yeah that's pretty much it just make sure you do all the maneuvers that your teacher taught you try to drive as well because i did drive a bit um besides my lessons you know friends friend let me use his car etc things like that so yeah try to drive before that in a parking lot if you can practice your turns so they won't be too wide um get the most out of your lessons if you have to take extra ones before the test because you're really nervous about it but don't be too scared because they're not looking for perfection you're a new driver so they know that you're going to be shaky if you was a pro you wouldn't be taking that test obviously you know what i'm mm -hmm. saying that's how i passed my new york city road test i thought it was going to be the hardest thing i thought it was going to fail i passed it the first time so definitely go check out my permit test video that i have that um i always answer all the comments if you have any questions about that i'll do the same on this video as well um let's see i'm trying to remember anything else when i got in I did check my mirrors, but they was already good previously from the first girl that went. And I guess not all the time um, you're going to have another girl in the car with you or another person. She wasn't in the car with me during my test, but going to the test, she was there. So we got to ask the instructor a few questions before we started. And that's really much pretty much it. They just want to make sure that you know the steps to what you have to do, like all the parking steps and all the um, parking is the hardest thing. My K turn, I was good from the beginning or I was good from the middle. So the K turn wasn't hard for me at all. It's just, you have to remember the steps. I try to write them down in my notes and go over them again and again and again, so I could really memorize them. But like I said, once the test date come, I once the test date came, I forgot everything. I was like, how could this be possible? <laughs> so I was just, you know, trying my best basically. Cause usually, like I said, I'm not that messy on my K turn. That K turn was horrible, but it was passable. So any questions down below, I told you the whole story um how it happened and yeah it was a pretty quick test seven minutes i took driving lessons for about five months to um finish those 10 lessons paid my money did all of that so got my license in the mail it came about mm, it just came actually this week so i took my test on the 9th of december and it just came so i know in new york it's very hard to get a test date so once you guys get a test date don't please don't not go don't cancel don't do none of that try to make it because if not you're going to be pushed back and you don't want to have finished your lessons and then you know take the test two to three months later because you're going to need a refresher you're going to forget what you learned unless you're driving on a regular license so that's it um if i could do it you definitely can do it don't be super scared about it i know you're going to be nervous the day of the test but that's normal try your best don't just don't freak out if you freak out you're gonna not do what you need to do the test people they're just there to not intimidate you or anything like that because the man he didn't he was quiet the whole time he didn't really he seemed a little bit like oh if i was going slow a little frustrated but don't even pay attention to that he's just in a rush to finish his day off and go home he doesn't really care so keep that in mind ask me any questions down below good luck to everybody who's gonna take their test and that's it. Check out my first video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.